right, we've been working on a problem of balancing a multiple unit, and we're near the end here. And so let's go back to the problem and see what we've done so far. In part one of this problem, we did an overall balance. And we knew these streams, and we were able to get the rest of these streams that were on the outside of the that were part of the overall balance of the system. In part two, uh, we did the mixing point balance and the balance on stage two. And that gave us all of the internal streams um, in this part of the system. What remains are some compositions in the extract stream no, that's not true. Yeah, in extract one stream. We still don't know the complete composition of this extract one stream. And uh, those last few bits of information we can obtain by doing balances on stage one. So this extract one stream is the problem, and we're going to do balances on stage one in order to get the few remaining compositions in that quadrant of our problem. Okay? so. Again, here's, here's our problem, and here's where we're going to do the balance. And we need to go back through our materials to find the compositions of the raffinate 1 stream, as much as we know about the extract 1, and then to redraw our flow diagram. So we're going to call this stage 1. And in comes the fresh feed, which is 100 kilograms total which is 50 kilograms acetone and 50 kilograms water. There's 100 kilograms of MIBK coming in here. And we have the raffinate 1 stream. And the extract 1 stream. The extract one stream um, we had a little bit about before. We go back through our solution to find these two streams. Uh, here's raffinate one stream. At the result of part two of the video, we had solved for the raffinate one stream, so we can copy those down. We have 54.8935 kilograms total. We have 42.7299 kilograms of water. We have 10.0957 kilograms of acetone and 2.0679 kilograms of MIBK. The extract one stream, uh, we got some information about that after the first set of balances. So the extract one stream uh, we had done previously and obtained the balance that there is a hundred and forty five point one zero six five kilograms total. And actually, from the beginning of the problem, we know the composition of the uh, acetone is 27.5. So I can recalculate that, the shortcut step. So 145.1065, and it's uh, 0.275. It's 39.9043 kilograms of acetone, but we don't know how much water and we don't know how much MIBK. So I think we were pretty high in our numbers, Q10, so we can go Q11 and Q12. So we're really very close to the end here. We just need to do um, a water balance and an MIBK balance to get the last pieces together. 
Uh, we could maybe do the acetone balance too, just to double check that we haven't made any mistakes. And we can do the overall balance to double check that we haven't made any mistakes. So let's start with the overall balance, just to make sure that everything's going fine. So this is stage one. And now I'm going to do the overall balance. So 100, 100 kilogram come in, 100 kilogram come in, 54.89 come out, 145.10 come out. So 100 come in, plus 100 come in, equals question mark. 54.8935 plus 145.1065, 54.8935, and yes, it checks. We can do the acetone balance. And we have 50 kilograms come in, 10 and change, 39 and change. Looks pretty good. Let's do it formally. 50 in, 10.0957 out, um, 39.9043 out. Exact. Things are going well. All right, so now do the ones that are for the money here. Let's do the water balance. Fifty kilograms come in, none. Forty-two and change, Q11. can calculate 50, 42.737299, 7.2701, and finally the MIBK balance. None come in, 100 come in, 2 and change come out, Q12 comes out. 100 comes in. 2.0679 plus Q12. Q12 equals 97.9321. Now we've actually finished. Uh, these are all of the units in the process. We've calculated all the streams, um, the extract streams we were missing, the internal raffinate stream that we we're missing. We know all the mass flow rates. In order to report our final answers, we have one last step, which is to report the correct number of sig figs and um, compositions, ma uh, mass compositions. Those I'll leave to you. This last step of sig figs is absolutely important. Uh, it's simply not the case that we would know these streams to one, two, three, four, five, six sig figs. When we look at the problem statement, um, although this says a, technically a sig fig of one sig fig, we probably could measure this stream to at least two sig figs, maybe three. Uh, so it looks like we probably have up to three sig figs in our answers, and you should not report any more than three sig figs. So this concludes the problem. This was an example of a multiple unit process. And let's recap the strategy. The strategy was to first start with the overall mass balance to see if we could get some quick answers, and in this case we could. 
going inside was a little trickier. We were forced to do two equations to unknowns, um, and we had to think a little bit about all the possible balances we could do before we could figure out the one we wanted. Also, every time I did balances, I started on a clean sheet of paper and drew it nice and large so that I could write all of the numbers that I knew. When I was about to balance, I needed, named the streams that were unknown and then carried out the balances. These are good habits to follow uh, in order to learn this kind of balancing. It's also a good habit to label your balances so that you can see what physics you've already taken account of and what physics remains. If you have any other questions, the, this handout is posted on the internet along with this video. Um, and if you have any requests for other problems that you would find helpful, uh, please send me an email and I'd be, um, I'd be willing to consider making more.